Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, a mill turn application, uh, having to engrave uh, some letters on a curved surface. The reason why I bring up this particular example is uh, a lot of mill turn machines utilize can cycles or uh, conversational programming, but something specifically like this where we have this text and we need to uh, engrave this text on this curved surface. Um, not the easiest thing to accomplish at all. Uh, generally, this would be a, a tool type application for a, a mold or something along those lines. So, where do we start? Well, we already have our turning routine. The turning routine is going to turn down the profile, which is uh, great. And then we need to get into the, the milling routine, where we're going to do three axis milling on the the face of this part here. So here we can see we turn down this uh, this shape right here. So that's pretty simple. So now the way that you know cam systems work differently, but the way Bob Bobcad works for mill turn is you have turning and milling operations, and your milling operations and your turning operations work the same as if they were on a two-axis lathe or a three-axis mill. So really, it's just loading up the tools. Uh, for that routine. So let's uh, insert a milling routine. This is three axis milling. All right. So as far as the geometry we're going to select, it's going to be this face right here is the face we're going to select. Okay. Uh, no boundary for this one. We're going to go to a one of the tool paths I really like. It's called uh, Project Curves. Uh, this is the one that we want to use. Uh, from here, we need to load up a tool. So when we're loading mill turn tools, we go to our tool crib. Now, I already have a face mill adapter loaded here, uh, but you do have the ability to change the adapter. The software comes with a bunch of them. You can model your own or what have you. So basically, we're going to load a tool in here. Um, so I'm going to right click on this adapter. I'm going to choose Add Tool. Uh, from here, I go right into my tool uh, library. Uh, let's see here. I need like a like a ball mill. Uh, let's go with um, let's go with this eighth, eighth inch ball mill. That should be good. All right, so we got the tool mounted up. We can go ahead and choose OK. Now from here, this is our project curves uh, tool path. So I need to select the project curves. In this case, it's going to be this blue text here. So what I'm going to do is just select all space bar. That's fine. I'm going to use the default parameters to start with. So I'll just go ahead and compute this. And what you're going to see is that the tool path has been generated uh, on that surface there. Let me blank the turning tool path out. All right, so you can see the tool path is, is on that surface there. Um, we need to make some adjustments to our links, but we also want to fill in those areas. You know, we want to... Um, really machine out those areas. So let's go to the links. We're going to increase this. Um, uh, let's make it 500. All right. So by increasing that number, what that means is it allows the tool path to do a direct link on the surface. Um, so really what we need to do is reduce this number. And by making this number smaller, then you can see we can force the tools to go to clearance when it needs to. Otherwise, it will connect like we see here. So we're still on a single pass. What we want to do is make multiple passes. So we're going to do an offset. We'll start with uh, left. I'm not sure if left is the correct direction, so I'll find out in just a second. Set that to 10, and we'll set this to 15, and we'll go ahead and compute. And now you can see how we're taking multiple passes. Okay, we can drop down our step over, and then you can see we'll get even additional passes to come in here and machine on this curved surface. Now, right now it's set to zero. Okay, so it's projected on that surface and it's cutting right on that surface. What we need to do in order to set our depth is we need to give it a negative um, finish amount. So I'll go ahead and add a negative finish amount. From here, we can run this through a simulation, and really you can see in not too much time at all, we're able to engrave this text uh, on this curved surface. Uh, this is Bobcad Cam version 28. This would be our mill professional software with our standard mill turn software. 
um, really easy to set up. Uh, something that uh, you know you can notice here is these are all our axes, and we're actually cutting on center. So we're not using Y in this particular example. We're cutting in three axes, and we're rotating our C. Um, you know, if you have Y, we can use Y as well. But again, I just wanted to show this real quick. If you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.